Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at layers and how utilizing them can help you keep your model clean and organized, as well as making different views of your model easier to access. So this is a model of a box that I've drawn. If you watched my dimensioning video, you saw me add all of these dimensions to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create some different layers within this model that will allow me to hide and make different parts of the model visible at different times as I see fit. So on our right hand menu, we're going to click this button right here, the three sheets of paper stacked on top, and it obviously pops up as layers. When I click on that, it's showing me all of the layers that exist in my model. And currently my only layer is titled layer zero. That is the default title for the basic layer in any SketchUp model. And unfortunately that can't be changed. I'm going to go ahead and add a new layer. You can see it has a different color, which can be changed by clicking on the circle. And I can make this any color that I would like. And we'll pick something in the green range, just so it's very different. So now this layer is green, and I'm going to move all of my dimensions from my model onto this layer. So I'm going to title this layer dimensions. That helps me stay organized with my drawings. So what I'm going to do now is using my select tool, and by holding down control, I'm going to go through my model, and I'm going to select all of my dimensions so that they turn blue. Now there are a couple of ways that I can move all of these dimensions onto that layer. The first is through the entity info screen, which we saw in, we've seen in other videos. If you don't have that open, it's the top box on your right hand menu. And when I click it, it's telling me that I have nine linear dimensions selected, and here's a whole bunch of information about those dimensions. But what I can do is I can come down here to current layer, and I can click on this, and now I can move them all to the dimensions layer. The other option, and I'm going to push control Z to undo that, you can see they moved back to layer zero, is on my layers screen, this second button right here says add selection to active layer. And right now, layer zero is active because the pencil is next to it. If I make the dimensions layer active and then click add selection to active layer, all of those selected dimension lines will move to this layer. And that's evidenced by the change in the entity information box here. Now what I can do, if I move back to layer zero as my selected layer, if I click the eyeball here, I can quickly hide all of my dimensions and make them visible again by simply clicking the eyeball. If the dimensions layer is my active layer, I can hide layer zero, leaving only my dimensions. I don't know why you would want to leave just your dimensions, but you could do that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hide my dimensions and I'm going to create three more layers, one for the sides, one for the end pieces, and one for the top and bottom. And this is going to allow me to manipulate through my model and hide different elements as I see fit. So I'm going to click add layer. It gives me a color here. And I'm going to title this one Sides. I'm going to make this the active layer. And I'm going to select the two sides of my model. Click on the first one, hold down Control, and click on the second to select them both. And then click Add Selection to Active Layer. Next, I'm going to create another layer. I'm going to call this one Ends. And these are names that will tell me what different parts are in my model. You can title your layers anything you want as long as they help you stay organized. I'm going to select my ends 
I've got my ends layer selected and I'm going to click add selection to active layer. Lastly, I need to make a layer for my top and my bottom. So here's my new layer here and I'm going to title this T and B for top and bottom. And this time I'm going to select my top and my bottom and instead of selecting the layer and using the add selection to active layer button under entity info you can see I've got two solid groups they're both in the model no material is selected but I'm going to change the current layer to T and B now I can go through here and I can hide and reveal any part of this that I want so if I want a detailed look at just the sides, I can make that visible and I can hide everything else. I can add my dimensions back in, but again it gets a little bit weird because all of my dimensions appear instead of just the dimensions for the side. If I wanted, I could move the dimensions for the sides onto that layer. Now when I hide my dimensions, these dimensions remain because they are attached to the layer titled sides and not the layer titled dimensions. Oftentimes what I will do is create a sides dimension layer with these dimensions so that I can pick and choose which dimensions are visible at which times. But as you can see, having <coughs> having different layers and utilizing those can make it much easier to manipulate your way through your model and isolate different items for further inspection or a greater detailed view.